Ooh. All right, welcome back to another Will It Start? Working on this 1965 Ford F750 with a scoop. Old fire truck. Used to sit out at the Broncos Burgers here in Omaha for years. It's been parked for 20. We drug it out of the hole that it was sitting in. I'll show a video of that real quick. Tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got about a foot and a half or so and you'll be tight. There she goes. There she goes. Oh. <laughs> It hit the dirt and just pushed it right through his hands. Hold on. Yeah, just let it roll back. It ain't rolling back, so. Hold on. Try that, bud. All right. <laughs> Now, Paul, back up and kind of come a little more this way so you can pull straight instead of trying to turn with your wheels turned. Now straighten out. There you go. Yeah, hold on, Paul. We'll dig a little more. <laughs> Get on it. Get on it. Woohoo! Keep going. You got it. Take it as far as you want. First time it's moved in what, 20 years? It's cool, right? It is so cool. All right, this thing's been sitting for 20 years. We're getting the plugs out, putting some PB down them. Trying to. Sitting here with my buddy South Omaha Speed right here. Give me a hand. <laughs> Trying. See if we can get her rotating, pulling the plugs out. As far as we can tell, this was at the burger joint in the late 70s. Didn't get drove much. Don't know what fire station it originally belonged to, but the Speedo says 8,200 miles. Which I think is accurate. It was drove to where it's at in about 04. Yeah, we tried making it out. You can kind of see something rural fire. Rural fire protection, protection. is that D-I-O-T? I can't make out what it says at the top. It looks like E-L-8. Yeah. It's, it's too little. That's a Y at the end and that's an that E or an F at the beginning. F-I-L-L-E-Y? <laughs> Eli? No, I think it's F-I-L-L-E-Y. Philly? Philly? Fire? So, some kind of most likely local. Still has the pumps. 
tires. Uh, the outers don't hold air, but the inners do, and the fronts do. Last tagged in 05, but I'm pretty sure it was 04 last time it drove. It did roll. Not really surprised that it rolled because it has a drive shaft brake. Still has the monster pumps. The water tank is right back here under the floor. It's got a shallow floor because it has the tank. Tank sandwiched in between there. So makes sense being a rural fire. It's a five speed, most likely a Clark. There's a drive shaft. That's cool. I've never seen that. It's got a Detroit locker in the rear. It is not a two-speed rear axle, which is kind of surprising. Figured for sure it would have had that, but it's got these old. But from our house, I mean that's. Yeah. I ride my bike down there usually every Tuesday, or yeah, usually well, almost every. I'll Tuesday. get back once we get rotating. It's moving? It, it did, but it stopped. The crank probably turned maybe an inch. Push the clutch in it a little bit and let it... Yeah, go ahead and push the clutch in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Back up, Paul. You're spinning now. We're sinking in the back again. There we go. Ryan, try fifth. Try, try, hold on. Try, try fifth here. Try fifth. He was in reverse. He was in reverse. Ryan, okay, uh, push, take some tension off it. push the clutch in and let him roll a little bit. And just see, leave it in gear. Clutch ain't working. It ain't working at all? No. Oh, okay. He's obsessed with that stud. <laughs>
right? Yep. You're trying to tighten it. Don't break it off though. Did that spin the motor? Did that no, tighten the bolt? Tighten, tighten the bolt. Oh. All right, we just rocked this thing back and forth with the uh, truck, got it to rotate a little bit, hooked it on the back, pulled it the other way, back and forth, back and forth, made all kinds of ruts. Not much traction, but we got it spinning. So it does pull all the way over, it does crank with the starter. We are putting the spark plugs back in it putting the plug wires on probably hit it with some ether to see if it even tries to fire if the ignition system's working or not and uh, I'll be right back when we get to that point ready yep <laughs> Adventure. Coil <laughs> could be points. Are we even it's getting voltage to the coil? Grab my meter real quick and I'll check the coil. All right, go ahead. with the ignition must be disconnected or something or the coil's bad or it's probably a points condenser yeah point to condenser mm -hmm. most likely right yeah sitting this long we think 20 years close to 20 years yeah yep yeah. yeah. most likely i guess we'll have to come back with some parts <laughs> 